1933. Adolf Hitler became Chancellor of Germany. Now he could do what he had spelled out in Mein Kampf for all to see. In substance it was, today Germany, tomorrow the world. In a disunited world, in a world where free men had not yet found their common cause, German aggression struck at them nation by nation and flung them down. Every day was D-Day for the Air Force. From dawn to dawn, the sound of aeroplane engines filled the air. We used to ask each other, have you cut any good bridges lately? Operation Overlord, the code name for the invasion, was close at hand. These men who have come from so many countries and speak so many tongues gathered together in Great Britain to form this vast Allied army. We call our beach Omaha. Don't ask me why. I understand Omaha was the roughest spot. The first batch of Nazi prisoners, the supermen who believed their West Wall impregnable, and a Frenchman to whom the stars and stripes spell liberty. He's waited a long time for this. These scenes of enthusiasm are becoming almost a daily sight. After four years, de Gaulle. For us, all this time, he had been France away from France. This is the P-47, the Thunderbolt. A fast, tough, high-altitude fighter. Here is their report, catch as catch could, by their own gun cameras in the instant of action. Cologne, first crack in the Rhine armor. Our units report no house-to-house -house resistance by the Volkssturm. And a stunned and beaten people, cut off from the outer world, cut off even from its neighbors, is given orders and obeyed. Hitler's most terrifying secret weapon, the V-2 rocket, is disclosed. A weapon that just one year earlier might have changed the entire course of the war. The Seventh Army holds the review where Hitler's great rallies were held. Here, thousands once gathered to bellow Sieg Heil. It was here in Munich in 1923 that Hitler founded his Nazi party in the Bürgerbräu Keller. Dachau, factory of horror. Thousands of Jews were arrested at random and sent to the concentration camps. This was different, very different. One of the first war criminals is captured. Hermann Goering. The rate of German surrenders is nearly a million a month. These are Germans on the road who had asked for total war. Berlin, the city where Hitler planned a total war, becomes a total wreck, shattered and pulverized by months of unceasing air raids. Berlin's women have been set to work to clear up the rubble from the streets. It will be years before the scars of war are removed, if ever. The German people who allowed its leaders to lead it into war have discovered the tragedy of war. This is Germany, land of darkness, of moral collapse. And a united world has learned through its dead, through its much pain, that only in unity of us all is there hope for any of us.